Hey guys, it's your pal Victor here from Cult Classics and Cult Falling, and we are doing a uh, movie review here for um, a movie that I've been actually anxiously anticipating for months now. Uh, we went to the uh, uh, Mandy anniversary screening at the Alamo Draft House a few months back, and they had played a trailer for this movie called Willie's Wonderland that showed Nicolas Cage smashing animatronic Chuck E. Cheese slash like showbiz pizza kind of animatronic puppets and uh I was like whoa I've never heard of this movie and I was really excited to check it out so lo and behold a few days or a week ago I found out this was about to come out so um you know I did some digging and we got a screener so we could review it for you and I just finished watching it and oh my god this movie is amazing um you know it's funny we just went through and did like our sundance reviews uh like a, a week or so ago and we saw a nicholas cage movie there called prisoners of the ghost land you can find a video review for that a little bit further down and i'll put it in the uh in the description but uh you know it was kind of like oh my gosh like nick cage is going through this like crazy career trajectory we're just doing these like gonzo kind of movies and this this kind of flies into that and it's but it's just like super cool um this movie uh, is directed by geo parsons uh comes out from screen media films this friday uh february 12th and uh it features nicholas cage as an unnamed character where uh his car uh is kind of like uh spike stripped and it gets towed uh, out to a abandoned, like, a Chuck E. Cheese type restaurant called Lily's Wonderland, where the owner, a guy named Tex McAdoo, <laughs> offers to fix his car completely for free if he'll go in and spend the night and clean the place up. And if he makes it out, you know, in one piece in the morning, the car is all fixed. And Nicholas Cage, a silent, you know, silent solo motor that he is, just gets to work. Uh, so, Already from the get-go, we've kind of got a House on Haunted Hill kind of scenario. Like, make it to morning and your, uh, you know, dreams will come true. And then what ends up happening is it turns out uh, Willie's Wonderland um, is was kind of like a, uh, uh, a, the site of kind of a child's play scenario. Where it turns out it was uh, originally owned by a, a child murderer and his gang. Uh, who were killing kids in the secret birthday room, and uh, rather than get captured, they did a satanic ritual where they all uh, killed themselves and their spirits possessed the animatronic puppets inside, making them immortal and hungry for blood. So to appease them, the townsfolk cut a deal with them where they would feed them fresh, fresh bodies every now and then if they didn't fuck with the townspeople. So we've got this kind of hybrid of like, House on Haunted Hill meets Child's Play meets From Dusk Till Dawn, literally. And, uh, you know, Nick Cage kind of just throws himself right into this. Like, it isn't that far into the movie where he's just killing uh, animatronic ostriches. And uh, we're all cheering him on as he does that in between taking work breaks and chugging energy drinks and trying to repair a pinball machine. And it, it just... It's very simple. It's a very simple, low-budget movie with that, you know, Nicolas Cage je ne sais quoi. And it works. And then it turns out we get a Friday the 13th Part 6 scenario where uh, some survi some survivors from past uh, Willie's Wonderland scenarios come and want to destroy this place once and for all. And hijinks ensue. And that's all I'll say because I don't want to... Uh, spoil it too much you got the basic premise there you got some nice character of Nicolas Cage uh the chief of police is played by Beth Grant who you might know from Donnie Darko she's the PTA mom who uh runs Sparkle Motion and her and Nick Cage have a great like banter chemistry that I really enjoy um it's not a terribly long movie I think it clocks in about an hour and a half but it, it, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. And that's all you can really say about it. Um, it's, you know, the, the puppets do have kind of a, you know, a, a Five Nights at Freddy kind of look to them. So, I mean, there's some people who are going to go, yeah, like, 
it's a little similar, but it's not. I, I, I like the angle they went with, um, you know, and, and the fact that they play it for laughs and kind of just for fun is it makes it a welcome thing. Um, there's plenty of room whenever they do make a Five Nights at Freddy movie. It'll be very different from this. I'm sure it'll be more found footage and all that. I like the angle they took on this. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for something fun to watch this weekend, I highly recommend uh, you checking out Willy's Wonderland on VOD from Screen Media. A uh, really fun movie. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this review, check out our reviews for other fun Nicolas Cage movies like Prisoners of the Ghost Land and our video reviews below and uh feel free to subscribe you know it should be somewhere here in a few minutes right around there and our other videos here and here uh will pop up and you know you know subscribe bell icon all that stuff thanks for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you in the future here on cold classes and cold following thanks guys <laughs>